Hi everybody. Welcome to the Best of Cat series. This is the first question on numbers. Now when you look at a topic like numbers, uh, what is the importance of that in cat? I would say that if cat is say around for around 26 questions, the corn section is 26 questions, you are bound to find 3 to 4 questions from numbers out of those 26 questions definitely. Let's start with the first question. The first question will be on logs. As usual, pause the video over here, try the question on your own and then go ahead. Let's have a look at the solution to this question. You have been given two equations both with logs and you have been told to find the value of x multiplied by y. They haven't asked you the value of x and y otherwise you could have also used options and substituted that. But there they were asked the value for x into y. Now understand that the topic of logs you know I have always noticed that students fear logs a lot. Why? Because maybe logs has some set of formulas and the application is always what they are not able to understand. First thing which I would want you to do is whenever you are revising logs is revise all the formulas. There are hardly 8 to 10 formulas. Revise each one of them and then try the questions. So for this question if I look at the first equation it has been told to us that log x plus y with base 5 plus log x minus y with base 5 is equal to 3. So using the property log a plus log b is equal to log ab. We will get log x square minus y square to the base 5 is 3, right? I hope everybody got that. Now, after that converting logs to indices, how do you convert logs to indices? x square minus y square will be 5 raised to 3, which is 125. So that becomes like my first equation. So you've got a regular equation you know, from logs, we've converted everything to a regular equation. So that's what I tell students, you know, once you understand logs that how can logs be converted to indices, most of the question of logs become like indices. Let's look at the second equation. There's a minus which means there will be a division. Log a minus log b is log a upon b. But on the right side, it's slightly different. There's a 1 minus log 3 to the base 2. So before we even convert the left hand side, let's see what will we do with the right hand side. So left side is log y to the base 2 minus log x to the base 2. 1 can be written as log 2 to the base 2. So the whole idea was to write the same base log 2 to the base 2 minus log 3 to the base 2. Now all of them are with the same base. So left side I will get log y by x to the base 2 is equal to log 2 by 3 to the base 2. right? And now if I just kind of get rid of logs on both sides, so I get y by x is equal to 2 by 3. Okay, which means x by y is 3 by 2. After this step, x square minus y square is 125 and y by x is 2 by 3. Remember, they have asked us for the value of x into y. Now, think a little bit. If x is a multiple of 3, y is a multiple of 2, which means x into y has to be a multiple of 6. If I go via the option, 250 is not a multiple of 6. 100 is not a multiple of 6 and 25 is also not a multiple of 6. Which means in an exam scenario if I want to save time, I would have taken a leap of faith and marked the second option. But let's have a look at it and let's try it further. So if y by x is 2 by 3, I can take y is equal to 2k and x is equal to 3k and put it in the first equation, x square will become 9k square minus y square will become 4k square is equal to 125. So 5k square is 125. So k square is 25 and k is 5. k cannot be plus and minus 5 because they had mentioned the word positive real number. So k is only equal to 5. If k is 5, y is 10 and x is 15. y is 10, x is 15, which means the answer to the question will be 150, which is the second option which I had told you could have got much faster if you were thinking on your feet. Well, as usual, there will be a replica to this question. Please try that and give the answers in the comment box.